this is a 2007 Toyota Sienna van, and we're gonna address just one issue you might have and a quick way to figure it out. So if you have the problem where one of the doors or both do not open using just the button, locate it on the pillar, but if you use the handle, it does work, the sliding door, this is how you can easily check and figure out what it is. On each side, take off the handle here. There's two Phillips screws. Pull this panel up, you have to make sure that it's locked. Just pop right off. Take your connector off for the window switch. And here's what we're looking at. This mechanism right here. So we're going to zoom in and I'll show you. So this is the part that we're concerned about right down here. It's the release actuator. It's the one that has this bar connected right here. I'll show you what that looks like. The one we're going to be replacing is on the right side door. We're looking at the left side door right now. But here's, here's what it looks like. Okay. This is a Toyota part. And when you pull the inside handle or the outside handle, it'll pull on the release mechanism. Now this, when you push the button, is what does it pulls it this way okay so what you do is you take both these panels off both doors or the one you're having a problem with if you wanted to compare but when we use the button we should see this pull back like this it should pull back like that if it's working properly so I'll show you So this is the passenger side, the one we're having trouble with, so I'm going to try to open it with a button right now. See it's not working, if I manually do it, well at least you can see now everything that's going on inside of this door is quite a bit. You got mod, an electronic module down there. You got motors. You got all kinds of other switches and sensors and things. So behind that door panel, there's quite a bit going on. The part that we're going to change is right here. So unhook that. In order to get to the back of that to take the screws off, I'm going to have to loosen this whole panel right here that holds everything together. So I couldn't show you how to take the panel off. It was a little difficult to get in here and do that and record it. But uh, it's pretty simple to take the panel off. Once you got this piece off that we talked about, um, the rest are just clips that pull straight out. There is a screw down the bottom. I'm going to show you a picture of that. An 8 millimeter um, has an 8 millimeter head on it. A screw way down there in the corner at the bottom. And also a trim piece up top here that you have to take off. So I'm going to show you a picture of that right now. So here's the trim piece that you have to remove. Just take a screwdriver after you roll the window down pop that clip out and then this piece will come right out and you have to take that out in order to get the panel also down here in the corner there's the fastener right there has an eight millimeter head on it so it's down there in the lower corner after you remove those two pieces the rest uh, will just pull forward the clips will come out and then lift up on the top part of the panel and it'll come right out Okay, so we removed most of these screws holding this panel on. And you don't want to pull on that too much, you'll bend the regulator up, but you can get in there just enough. Use a screwdriver like this, Phillips. So we'll pop this clip off here, get rid of that. Okay, so we got the old one out. We're going to get the new one in. Um, 
the screws, there's two of them that hold it in. They're Phillips. And to top it off, they put Loctite on them. So that's real nice, isn't it? So this one started to strip out a little bit, but um, Loctite only holds to a certain temperature. So if you wanted to, obviously being very careful, if you had a, like a little very small localized source of heat, um, one of the bigger soldering irons, maybe a pencil torch or something like that, you could put a little on the, on the side that comes through there, on this side, and just give it a little bit of a warm up and that one made that one come out easier but uh, obviously if you have an open flame you'd want to use common sense this is plastic although that is a like a bronze insert but um, yeah if you burn your car down don't don't blame me so let's go ahead and get this one back in and we'll go ahead and again being very careful you don't want to bend that regulator all up in there you have other problems these doors can get very expensive to fix. Okay. All right, we're back in business there. Hook up our lever there. Okay, plug it in. Before we put the door panel on, we'll go ahead and test it out. Ooh, don't forget your ground wire here. Turn the doors back on and see. Okay, everything looks good. We'll just go ahead and get the door panel back on. On to the next repair. Okay. 